It's award season, and while the dress is important, no red carpet look is complete without a little bit, let's say a lot of it, of bling. Of bling, of something yes. you know of which you speak, definitely. So here with her top five jewelry trends, inspired by all of the glamorous Golden Globes fashions, celebrity stylist Annie Jagger is here with us. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Okay, so you know of what you speak as well, Annie, because I know that you were Rachel Zoe's assistant for a, a good chunk of time. Five years. And yes. Five years. And so you worked with a lot of celebrities. So let's rhyme some off. We've got Rihanna, um, I know was a client as well. Said Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson. Um, We've Julianne got uh, Rosie Huntington Whiteley, which we know. Yep. Jessica Alba, I think you might have mentioned. So let's talk about the trends right now. And how would you describe the overriding jewelry trend that we're walking into for 2015? I think we're going to see a lot of classic jewelry worn in a modern way. So a modern twist, a different twist on like classic things like studs and and rings, a different way to wear things. Okay. Okay, let's start with something, um, some bling that is very near and dear to my heart, the ear cuff. Yes. And we saw the ear cuff last night on both Diane Kruger and Viola Davis. They look both look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this trend. Um, well, it's all about the ears in 2015. I think we've kind of transitioned into this time where we're seeing a lot more ear jewelry and a lot of different ways of wearing ear jewelry. And it's a very versatile trend, which I like. You can wear a subtle ear cuff or you can wear a giant ear cuff and really make a statement. So if you're going out at night, you can wear a bigger, more blingy ear cuff. Or if you're just going for the day, you can wear a smaller, more simple ear cuff. So we've got a few different examples I'm going to go for the bigger. Just, yeah. just, <laughs> this one's just from just H and M. Mel Shore. And this, this you don't even need your ears here? to have. Uh, holes, any piercings. To exactly. Be able to that. You can just wear on the back of your ear. We'll do this here. Thank and you. this one is, first of all, it's so Tracy, but it, it can go like, show that. Isn't that so hot? It's so hot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really fun way to just add a little Beautiful. extra bling for a night out on the town. I couldn't and hear you from my ear <laughs> <laughs> And then we've got some other examples up here of the smaller, more subtle ear cuffs. They're um, from Gilding the Lily here in Toronto. And they're ones that you can just wear up the ear. You can wear two or you can wear one. They're beautiful. And then wear a delicate. stud on the other side. Yeah. Okay, I love that. So the other one that we're seeing of is a little bit of um, a movement on the classic, and that is pearls. Yeah. And last night on the red carpet, we saw both Lena Dunham, whoa, wearing yes. pearls. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A surprise. A surprise. And even Amy Poehler was rocking some pearls last yes, night. Yes, absolutely. So what did you see, what did you like about the, the the new way that we're seeing pearls? Well, I think that ever since Chanel sent pearls down the runway last spring, you've seen some of the coolest girls in Hollywood kind of resurrecting this jewelry trend. They're starting to wear pearls in a really cool, different way. Some are wearing giant oversized pearls, some are layering pearls, and some are just wearing them in a different way. So Lena Dunham wore her pearl bracelets, so unexpected, but I thought they looked really cool on her. And Amy Poehler wore that beautiful pearl necklace that had just the one simple pearl on it. It was a choker, which is another big trend for us. Mm. So I just thought it was a modern, cool way of wearing pearls. It's not your grandmother's pearls. Yes, yeah, if you can help really me out. Aren't your grandmother's pearls. They're not your grandmother's pearls. And again, these ones, very unconventional and yet look yeah, so, so chic. Nope, we're second. all good here. Oh. Live TV. Live TV, go. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but this is, again, this is like a, a real um, change. Hold on, we'll, it's all my hair, which half of it's go. not mine today, so that's the problem. <laughs> J-Lo was happens? on TV yeah. tonight, so that means <laughs> <laughs> last night. So Melissa's hair is big today. There we go. That's gorgeous. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. And it's um, it's playing into two trends, the choker trend and the pearl trend, which oh. is, they're both really popular right now. Okay, I'm glad you brought up the, that. Yeah. the choker trend, because we saw some amazing ch uh, chokers last night in the Golden Globes. Yes. One of my favorites, Naomi Watts, with the the snake yes, bulgari. Gorgeous. Wow, the diamonds on that. And of course, Lord, who looked yes. really she looked great. She looked beautiful last night. So they both had an, an incredible neck pieces. Can you tell us about this trend? Yes. Um, chokers are everywhere right now. You're going to see all different varieties, all different um, styles, casual, very blinged out. And I personally love this one from BCBG up here that is um, all the different stones. It could this be one. worn over. To me, it's really versatile. Again, you could wear it with May a bag. Yes, you may. Or you could wear it with a denim shirt. You could. So you could sure it doesn't hit your dress mic. something up yes. or dress something. Here we go. Oh, oh don't you love that? Something out. It's oh. gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. And like I said, again, you could wear that with a gown or you could wear it over a sweater and just, mm. you know, bump that look up 
a little bit with level. some bling. Um, and then we've got some more casual options. This one's by Bofi, which is a Toronto designer. So it doesn't have to be a solid piece. Like some of them are solid, but then you have a little bit of more of a movement with this kind of choker. Absolutely. Um, you're going to see a lot of these more structural chokers that are kind of a beautiful um, adornment to a, a sleek modern dress or a modern look. And then you're going to also see some of these more whimsical chokers, you know, like that are really a throwback to the 90s, which I love. And when you're doing a piece like this around your neck, do you want to dial down your earrings or can you make a statement with your I earrings? would say so. I would say keep the earrings close to the ear or even none at all if you're going to wear a choker around your neck. It's kind of, it's about balance. You don't want to have too much going on up here, you know? Right, exactly. I was hoping you would say something different. <laughs> <laughs> I've got oh the ear cut. Be like, you know what, the, look at the that. accessory gods. <laughs> Just said, no, Tracy, take off the ear. Yeah. Can't do that. trend that we've started to see that I'm really excited about is layering. So we're yes. talking about layering and particularly statement rings, which we did see last night on the red carpet as well. So we talked about it as well. So we've got uh, Michelle Monaghan. Yep. So she did this sort of layering with the rings, really cool, different, not the same rings. Um, yep. We saw this a lot. So talk to us about this trend and how we can bring it into our repertoire. Well, you've been seeing a lot of these um, layering rings and the midi rings, girls wearing um, a variety of rings on their fingers. And right here we have a few different examples. Um, I've got this ring here by Carbon and Hyde, which is also from Gilding the Lily. I don't like know that. if you want to try yes, that on. I would like it's to. actually not two rings, but it looks like two rings. It does. Which I love. Um, and then we do have a version that is two rings. <laughs> Look at all you can see. I have so many things on. <laughs> And I love try this look. Too. You know, I'm going to take the ring I have off now because I saw uh, last night there was a lot of where you'd put on the ring and then you would wear, which I think you're going to give me right now. I like to do that. A What's pie. the name for this? It's like, it's like it's a, pie, a midi ring. A midi ring. Yes. Okay, midi ring. And you'll see Same lots of different kind of midi rings out there right now from tiny little bands to pave diamonds. Um, and I just think it's a really fun way to kind of accessorize the fingers, a different way that we haven't seen before. Yeah, exactly. This is really, really fun. Really, really nice. And it's very delicate, too. Yeah. You know, even with... Feminine. You have a, yes. You know. Romantic. It's all good. Okay, back, very to, blingy. back to one of my p favorite pieces of jewelry. I mean, it's so hard to pick yeah. one, but let's talk about earrings. Yeah. And in this case, we're talking about some asymmetrical action going on. Yeah, and this is an exciting new trend um, that I'm seeing a lot more of, especially with the resurgence of 90s fashion and all the piercings that people have in their ears. Um, people are wearing different earrings on different ears, or they're wearing one statement earring, and then they've got a bunch of piercings in the next. You'll see last night you saw Sienna Miller, you saw um, Kristen Wiig, and a even Kate Mara. Kate Mara. Yeah. They had all the piercings up the one ear and then maybe hair over the other side or mm. just a simple earring in the other side. So this is the trend. Um, we've got a few different examples here. One was a major earring and then a smaller earring on the other side. I do like to do that because sometimes yes. I feel like if you have two big earrings on it's a little too much. Yeah. And don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just said too much. This is some jewelry. A too much. In the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> People take note. Take note. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I think that it's just a, a, a really innovative new way of wearing earrings. Um, and we've got a few different examples here. These are just um, the Smith and Mara earrings here are simply mismatched in the sense that one is pave and one is plain gold. Okay. Um, th this one has an ear backing and the other one doesn't. Um, so you might have a little something hanging off the back of your ear. It's just a subtle way of wearing an asymmetrical earring, doing something a little different. I have a little one like that. Yes. The back of my earring is actually an exactly. earring too. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, yeah, it looks you great. You can kind of flip them and wear them in a different versatile ways. So I think that they're really interesting, new, fun jewelry trend. We're going to try, try these right away. Annie, yes. thank you so thank much. Thank you. So much. right after the show to get all the info on these pieces and more. We're going to be right back. Up next, meet the man who took Hollywood's health advice. But was it bad medicine? 